I went to 24 different states, and I interviewed people who were suffering or recovering from drug addiction because I wanted to understand what it was all about. And so I went to homeless shelters, soup kitchens. What I do is I place these glass blocks in water fountains or reflecting ponds so that they'll be looking up from the water at people. And the reason to, I do this is because we'll walk right past someone who's on the street, slumped over from addiction, and we'll give them wide berth. But we're socialized to never walk past someone who's drowning. Susan Fürstenberg says she's a social issues artist who wants to draw attention to the present problems facing America. It took decades for the 61-year-old from South Dakota to discover the power of art. After working in the pharmaceutical industry and on Capitol Hill, life changed when she was in her 50s and attended a ceramics class with her son. They made great bowls and platters and all sorts of things. I couldn't center my clay. And so I asked the instructor if I could just take a lump of clay and go sit off on another table and just try to make something. And I ended up with a sculpture, a sculpture of a woman of indeterminate ethnicity who looked like she had something to say. The one thing she told me That's when Fürstenberg realized her true calling was art. She tried many mediums, from sketching to ice carvings to mosaics. But she did not settle on one. Instead, she chose to use whichever medium worked best to highlight a particular issue. One piece focuses on mass shootings in the U.S. The U.S. flag is covered with names of killed in mass shootings starting in 1999. Behind the flag sits the U.S. Declaration of Independence, with its well-known phrase about the right to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Alcohol and drug addiction are a recurring theme in Furstenberg's work along with other complex issues. Over and over again, what people told me, they recounted stories of sexual abuse, emotional abuse, neglect, isolation, bullying, loneliness, all these issues that are really psychological injury. One of her best known works is an installation honoring those lost to COVID-19 in America. You know, a lot of artists, they, um, their work is very personal and introspective and um, to watch her project that she did on the mall, I mean, on the, um, um, at the DC Armory, um, um, was really amazing because her, her ability to empathize. It helped people understand the immensity of our loss. It alerted them to the fact that this didn't need to happen. It took the individual life, and it made it matter. Next, Fürstenberg says she will focus on white supremacy and economic inequality. Maxim Moskolko for VOE News, Bethesda, Maryland.